What's up, everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome to my channel, Power Two Fragrance Reviews. For those of y'all that are returning and watching my videos that are subscribed, I really appreciate all the taking all your time to watch my videos. And those of y'all that are checking out my videos, check out this video that's new to my channel. At any point you're interested in subscribing to my channel to see all the more amazing the content that I got planned on this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and hit the post notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. So by the title of today's video, as you can see, I am going to let you guys know the next five fragrances that I plan on trying. I really do want to take the time and show y'all every step of my fragrance journey. I know in the end I want to pursue a career in fragrance, but also I want to let you guys know every step to that point. Every new fragrance that I want to try, every sample that I pick up, every fragrance that I pick up. Um, these next five fragrances I'm going to order samples of. I'm not just going to straight up blind buy it. Don't get me wrong, I do like to blind buy fragrances, but I need to learn to start sampling more. And these next five fragrances I plan on trying, I'm going to be getting samples of. I'm going to be ordering it from MyFragranceSamples.com I'm not sponsored by them at all, but MyFragranceSamples.com is one of the go-to uh, websites in the fragrance community to buy samples. So without further delay, let's head to these five fragrances that I plan on trying next. Let me know in the comment section below, uh, out of any of these five fragrances I'm going to talk to you guys about today, let me know if y'all own any of these fragrances and let me know what's your wear experience with any of these fragrances because I'm excited to try all of these fragrances. Uh, they're all pretty popular in the fragrance community. It's just that I've never taken, gotten a chance to smell it yet. And I plan on getting samples, like I said, this month. So, the first fragrance we'll talk to you guys about comes from the house of Zhirzhov. And I'm planning on trying multiple Zhirzhovs. Uh, I want to get more into that house. I already own the Zhirzhov Naxos, and that's a great fragrance. But let me talk to you guys about this next Zhirzhov that I'm planning on trying. And this is from the Shooting Stars collection, and this is Zerzhov's Neo. Now, it's been said in the fragrance community that Zerzhov's Neo is one of the best Bergamot fragrances that you can buy uh, anywhere. One of the best Neroli fragrances that you can buy anywhere. Uh, this fragrance right here features prominent notes of Bergamot, Neroli, and Green Leaves Accord. Uh, you also got a mixture of spices in the heart and woods at the base. Um, and it's also been voted, at least on Fragantica, that this is a really well, uh, a good performing fragrance for it being based around citrus, which is very exciting to me because I do want my fragrances to last at least a good amount. Uh, even though it's a citrus fragrance, if I can get five, six hours out of it, I'll be happy with that. But I'm seeing people get eight plus hours out of it. Um, typically, around the summertime, when people do their summer list, on the niche side, you see this fragrance right here, Zerzhov's Neo, covered a lot. And that's this guy might be interesting enough to want to try it for myself. So it's the first fragrance I want to talk to you guys about that I'm planning on trying, getting a sample of, and it's Zerzhov's Neo. The next fragrance that I want to talk to you guys about that I'm planning on getting a sample of and trying this month is another Zerzhov fragrance, the second one back to back. This is from their Casamarati 1888 collection, and the bottle design and the color on this is freaking awesome. This is Zerzhov's Mephisto Gentle Warmo. Now, the other day, I did post in all the fragrance groups, the Facebook fragrance groups, uh, of recommendations they think that I should check out for the spring and summertime, like really nice spring and summer fragrances. And I did see this fragrance right here, my piece though, Gentle Woman, will pop up a few times. Um, I've never even heard of this fragrance, but I looked it up on Fragantica and Lucky Scent, and honestly, it interested me. It makes me want to try it. Plus, the, the light blue bottle is freaking gorgeous. Um, this fragrance right here does get comparisons to Creed Silver Mountain Water, which I do own, but I still want to get a sample of it and see how different it is. I know it's not, it's not exact, it may have similar nuances. Uh, this fragrance right here features prominent notes of violet, grapefruit, and lavender. Um, a lot of citrus in the top with the lavender, but then also in the heart you've got a violet, iris, and I think uh, geranium. I see that this fragrance right here is looking like it's going to be fresh and powdery. Based off what I'm seeing right here, it's looking like it's going to be a powdery citrus fragrance. Uh, me seeing lavender, violet, and iris makes me think it's going to definitely have a nice powderiness to it. Since violet and iris are already are powdery to begin with, and lavender can maybe give a little bit of a soapy quality. But this is another one right here, I guess just in Jerzhoff's fashion. Uh, it's voted on Fragantica. This is a really nice performing fragrance. 
Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a. It does not look like it's gonna be a beast projector. It's gonna be made made more of like a nice pleasant scent, like a nice pleasant CI on the lighter side. But that's fine though. Um, I do see. Um, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's this one right here, Mephisto Jitsuwomo, or the original Mephisto. Uh, but I've seen this fragrance right here pop up in the, every now and then some spring niche list and summer lit niche list. Uh, this fragrance is a fragrance that's not super popular in the fragrance community. But it's definitely one I'm interested in trying. And this is Jersey Off from Mephisto Gentle Womo. The next fragrance I want to tell you guys I'm going to be trying this month and get a sample of is a designer fragrance. Uh, this is the only designer fragrance I plan on checking out, like sample wise, this month. And this is one right here that you can't get at discounters. You, go ahead, you can only basically pay full retail. That's why I want to get a sample of it first to make sure that I like it. This comes from the house of Chanel. And this is a very popular Chanel fragrance. This is in the fragrance community, it, it's popular. It's Chanel's. Allure Home Edition Blanche. Now, this one right here when it comes to the top spring summer list on the designer side and the fragrance community from YouTubers. You see this fragrance right here featured quite a bit. This is a fresh oriental fragrance with notes of lemon, sandalwood, vetiver, vanilla. It's been kind of dubbed as the lemon meringue pie of the fragrance community. It's one that I'm interested in checking out. It's got a mixture of that freshness with a little bit of a gourmand vibe with a nice oriental vibe um it's a very very well received fragrance in the fragrance community and this is a chanel fragrance right here from the allure own line that you can't get in department stores normally i mean in department stores you've got chanel allure own allure own sport allure own extreme uh oh extreme uh but you can't find allure own edition blanche and it's the fragrance right here that I'm going to want to really get a sample of this because looking right here, like it's gonna be a nice fragrance I'm gonna enjoy. At least I hope I'll enjoy for the spring and summertime, designer wise. Who knows? Maybe if I like it, I'll pick it up and maybe make my my top ten summer list on the designer side. And I've heard this is a, a pretty well performing, like it's a, like a it's like average to above average in performance. Some people get much better mileage on it, but for the most part, people say this is a nice average to above average fragrance. You may have to reapply it throughout the day. And that's, and that's, that's fine though, if I need to reapply it, as long as I don't get horrible performance on my skin. So it's another fragrance right there. I'm looking forward to checking it out this month. And that is Chanel's Allure Own Edition Blanche. The next fragrance right here I'm gonna talk to you guys about is one that I'm finally wanting to take a shot and try. Um, when this fragrance right here first came out, and what people were saying about it, it kind of scared me away from wanting to try it. But I've been seeing it, it, this fragrance right here show up in a lot of top 10 spring lists for this year. I've actually, this fragrance right here showed up quite a bit. This one right here comes from the House of Parfums de Marley, and this is Parfums de Marley's Percival. I am a really big fan of the House of Parfums de Marley. I've already, I have already own four Parfums de Marley fragrances, uh, Layton, Herod, Owajan, and Carlisle. Uh, Parfums de Marley is known more for their heavier fragrances. They got a few fresher fragrances like Percival. Uh, the reason why I didn't want to, want to try Percival at first was when it first came out, I've heard quite a bit that basically it's more like a, a higher quality version of Mont Blanc Legend or Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. And that kind of scared me away from it considering it smells similar to that but a higher price tag. But people are really showing love for this in the, in the community. Um, when it comes to the YouTubers, so it's, it's piqued my interest enough that I do want to try it. This features notes of bergamot, mandarin, orange, lavender, got some woods and spices in the base. This is more of a modern take of the aromatic fougere type of fragrance. And it's one right here is known to be one now, it's known to be one that's got, it's a very well performing freshing that is known to be great for everyday use and can get you a good amount of compliments. So I do want to try this fragrance to see if I like it enough to want to pick it up, and that is Parfums de Marley's Percival. And the last fragrance I want, I want to talk to you guys about that I'm planning on getting a sample of this month is coming from a house that I've never even tried a fragrance from this house before, but I've seen other YouTubers like Big Beer, uh, Big Beer Business and Steven from Adolescence talk about this fragrance and how much they enjoy it. So it makes me want to try a whole new house and try this fragrance right here. It's come from the house of Amarud. And this is called Amarud's Wet Stone. This fragrance right here, based off the note breakdown, it looks very interesting. This features not prominent notes of sea salt, mineral notes, and lemon and ambergris. 
Um, this one has got a nice mixture of freshness and marine like qualities at the top. Then it got some aromatics and at the heart coming from sage and uh, cardamom and a few other notes. And then at the base, you've got some nice amount of woods in addition to the ambergris, like the woods being patchouli, cedar wood. Uh, it even got some oud in here. But this one, right, this one right here looks like it's gonna be a more fresher take on oud, a more wearable oud. Um, I've never even checked out or even tried the House of Amrood, but I like the bottle design of this fragrance right here, the white with the gold. It's looking like it's gonna be one right here. It's gonna be really nice for the spring and summertime. As you can tell, I'm looking, I'm trying right now. I'm trying to get more to spring and summer fragrances. Um, sea Salt is a fragrance right here. It's a note or a chord that I do enjoy a lot in hotter weather fragrances. Um, I love my marine style fragrances. Now, this does not have a this does not have marine chords in it. It's just sea salt with a mixture of citruses. But so like right here, it's a fragrance that I'm really going to enjoy. That I don't know nothing about this house, but now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get a sample from this house of Amaru's Weststone and check it out and see if this house right here is going to be a house that I want to check out more. And that's the last fragrance we'll talk to you guys about, and it's Amaru's Whetstone. These fragrances right here are five fragrances that I'm really looking forward to trying. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below if you tried any of these fragrances and what's your experience out of trying it or if you do own it, how much you like it. And let me know if there's any fragrances that you plan on trying this month yourself as far as getting samples because you know I'll talk to y'all in the comment section below. With us being quarantined and not being able to go to department stores or you're hiring stores, we're more so forced to buy samples online of stuff that we were interested in trying because we can't go into the stores, we're stuck in our houses. So if you're interested in checking out any samples, definitely try mofragrancesamples.com or crystalfragrances.com. Uh, I've ordered some samples from that site too. Another two really good sites for getting samples. And that's all I got for you guys today, man. Hope you have a nice day, nice evening. Till next time.